Hello there, and welcome back to my channel, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the last program. As promised, I'm doing a drawing and portraiture lesson this time, so it's going to be in two phases, this particular one. It's, firstly, it's going to be the drawing, which is a really interesting problem, really, and it's part of what makes portraiture so difficult, really. Um, not being able to draw a, a face or a portrait is a real liability and if you can't draw it properly then you can't really get the likeness so this little session here is mainly about the drawing and trying to get a likeness in the portrait and we're going to take it in some simple steps um, not too difficult hopefully and really it's a question of observation skills um, if, if you can observe correctly then you can draw it if you if you can't see uh, at what you're what you're drawing or or understand what you're drawing it makes it makes it really hard so we'll start with the basic drawing we're going to be doing a portrait from life today and we're going to be painting clara this is clara here and she's my second daughter a twin so she's very special uh, we, we've moved into this room uh, because it's very sunny in the next room and i just can't paint when the sights when the sun's really beaming in so this is um my a sort of well, it's your bedroom there. <laughs> it's a sort of jack of all trades room, this as well. I mean, Clara's home, this is her bedroom, but uh, it's also my studio from time to time. But I don't really use studios much because um, I like painting outdoors. So it's, it's really not necessary to have a room for me permanently as a studio. What I'm going to do now is to start a practice drawing, really, just to give you an idea about how I go about it. So this is on a, on a little drawing pad. And it, it's... It's really a technique where I try, like the other pictures, to, to, to draw everywhere on the, on the piece of paper. I'm not trying to focus in on one area only. So it's, it's a broad technique of trying to get as much down in a broad way as I can. So I'll start it off. So if I, if I mark off the top of the head here and the bottom of the head, so that, those two marks here are the scale of the picture. So I know that the top of the head is here and the, and the bottom of the chin is there. So those are my, that's my scale that I've produced. And drawing uh, a portrait is, is quite difficult because once you draw something, then everything that you draw after that has got to be in the right scale with that first thing. And what, what, what happens is that you, you, start, you start drawing a face and you draw an eye, another eye, a nose, and if you make a mistake, the head just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So then you have to redraw that as being a bigger eye, uh, the nose bigger. So you, you'll see that uh, in, in many, many uh, amateur type of drawings, the, the head just starts to get bigger and bigger and bigger until it fills the whole page. At least that's something that I've noticed. So we have to try and keep the scale in mind always. I'm going to be drawing this in a, in a 4B pencil just, just to give you an idea of, of, of what you're looking at. Because if I did it in a, my normal pencil, which would be a two, uh, an HB, you wouldn't see it on the camera. So I wouldn't normally draw this dark, but for the benefits of this video, I am going to. Right, so I've got the top of the head and the, and, and the, and the bottom of the chin. Now I'm gonna look at Clara, and I'm gonna work out where the eyes are. So I, I think the eyes are slightly above horizontal. So if you go to the middle, or, or sorry, the, uh, it's slightly above the middle of the face. So th there's the center of the face. So I'm going to put the eyes in around about here. Okay, so we, we, we've got that first measurement worked out there. So now I'm going to start drawing everywhere. Uh, so I'm going to draw a basic oval shape. And I'm not going to rub out anything because I believe that um, your, your mistakes in the drawing are really important to help you in the future. So there, there are the, that's, that's the plane of the eyes. And I'm going to, she's slightly looking to the left. So the head's tilted to the left, or an angle to the left. So I'm going to draw a curve down here. So that's the basic shape that you're looking for. So, and then just get stuck into it really. So I'm going to, I'm going to put an eye, an eye here. Um, and the, the, the put a sort of eye distance and then the other eye coming in here. And then the nose coming here. But I'm not going to work on any particular part for very long. 
cheekbone. There's the nostril. What I quite like to look at, I, I, I see the face in triangles. I, I, I'm very good at, at, um, at, at, at looking at triangles. One of the most important triangles is from the eyes. So let's say you cut the corner of the eye to the bottom of the nose, and I draw that as a triangle. I can tell whether that's the right sort of triangle. For that, that's, that's Clara's triangle there. Now, if I, if I did the eyes up here, and I made the triangle that shape from the bottom of the nose, then you can see that's, that's not right. It's the wrong set shape triangle for me. So I, I like, quite like dividing the, the head into triangles. And if you can get the distance from here to here right, then um, you're, you're going to get a likeness. You're going to be accurate with the drawing. There's another triangle as well, as well, and that's from the same place to the top of the mouth. So I'm going to imagine it's, it's sort of there. So there's the top of the mouth coming in. You see that? So I'm trying to get the right drawing of, of this area here. It's the, it's, the, it's the middle of the face, which is where the likeness is. Right, so draw a little bit more of the mouth in. So then keep on going back. So you see, I'm not trying to get any, any spot more refined than the next spot. There's the shadow coming in. The hair. Eyebrows come up here. And we're starting now to get things placed in and it's the, the, the portrait is coming out. So this is one of the most difficult things about doing a portrait, and um, it, it does, I, I find it more of an instinctual affair now. I, I, I don't think too much about it, but that's because I've done, I've done a fair amount of it. So you can see now that I'm just trying to refine the image. So the hair's gonna come down here. You've got to get the eyes the right size. Sometimes people make the eyes too big. Now I'm, I'm sort of uh, getting the finer details, make, making, making the more accurate marks now. So then you've got shadows this side. Nose here is quite dark around this section here. See the hairs coming out. And you can see my, my scale's going up. So I don't know if you noticed that. So this was the top and that was the bottom, but you can see now that, that my, I'm, my scale is sort of getting bigger. What I said earlier is that when, when you make slight errors, it tends to make the, 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 the head bigger. So I've gone up about half an inch there on the top of it. So then you've got the hair coming in. So that's the basic, the ba very basic drawing of it done. And, it, and I can see there is a resemblance in there. And you, you, go, you can go on refining, but we're not really trying to produce a drawing here. We're, we're trying to produce the base, the under, the under part of, of a watercolor. And, and I, I thought I'd sort of talk about the differences between uh, drawing a portrait and, and a landscape in that when you draw a landscape, um, you're, you, you, got more, you can take more liberties with it really. And if the tree isn't quite the right size or scale, or if, if a river is a bit wider or, or, or the mountains are a bit bigger, it doesn't really matter. Um, you, can, you can get away with things. But when you do a portrait, if you, if you draw the eye um, a few mils down from where it should be, or the nose you know, half a centimeter down from where it should be, or the lips too small, it makes a huge difference. And it, it, it turns it into a, a non-recognizable portrait. So the difference mainly between a landscape drawing and this type of drawing is accuracy. 
you have to be much more accurate with, with, this type of, with this type of drawing. Otherwise, you just don't recognize the person. So it's, it's a tricky, it's a tricky um, it is a tricky thing to do, but practice makes, makes perfect with this. So if I were to treat this like a drawing, um, like a, a, a proper uh, filled in drawing with values, you, you could go into the dark patch underneath the, the, the lips, better shape of lips, this part here, uh, below the nose, I think that's a really interesting um, thing. It's called the filtrum. And so you've got this shadow here. And I, I remember reading once that with, with children at school, when, when they were when like young, like 10 or 8 year olds, you, you, in, in, in every class you have an artist. And uh, the way they, they, they found out whether that was an artist, the child was an artistic, was whether they noticed the filtrum this little bit here of, of the mouth, of the upper lip, between the, between the lips and the, and, the, and the nose. So if you notice that, then you were, you were an artist. So, so that's, that's, the basic, that's the basic drawing for, for Clara. And so we'll, we'll, we would go down with part other details and you'd get the hair right, obviously. And so the ear coming, so, so that, that would be all I would want to do for the portrait. But I wouldn't do it that dark because um, you, you'd see it up at the pencil mark over the, underneath the watercolour. So yeah, it sort of does look like her as well. We're going to start the actual painting now. So this was a, a test bit of paper, just to give you an idea of the uh, way I draw. So I'm going to move to my watercolour paper. And this paper is Fabriano Artistico paper. It's a, it's a really nice paper. It's, it's made of cotton and it's a 140 pound paper and it's in the knot variety. So here we go. So again, we're going to place down, I'm gonna work in a, in a propelling pencil now. I'm going to mark out the top of the picture. So the top of Mark Clara's head is here and we're gonna call that the bottom there. So, that's the sort of size, sort of about four inches high, I'd say, round about there. Okay, so now it's a question of doing exactly the same thing as last time. So halfway is hair, is, is there, up the head, and her eyes are a little bit slightly above horizontal, the, the, the center mark of it, so around about there. So the hairline's there, the nose is sort of there. And what we're trying to do really is, is a line drawing. We're not trying to put detail in it at all. So um, I'm, I'm not pressing too hard on the pencil now. So hopefully, hopefully you can see that. Uh, just part of the tricky thing about, uh, you, you don't want the pencil lines to show too much through in the portrait. So, and it goes down to the nose, nostril. Yeah. Everything's very precise with watercolour drawing, or, or water, uh, drawing a portrait. It's got to be as accurate as you can. So take your time and really, really look. And it's the looking that will uh, give you the ability to see accurate shapes. So I'm trying to make it perfect drawing. I'm just trying to get the outline of it. The eyebrows come in. Hopefully you can find someone to, who's going to sit for you. It's quite a tough thing. Clara's being very rugged. Got the hair coming down here again. Rough shape. Mouth. The filtrum, <laughs> love that word. <laughs> You're constantly refining it. 
making sure that everything's in the right place. That's the hard thing with portraiture. Sargent was uh, one of the greatest of portrait painters. And one, one of the things that he did, which I, which I tend not to do, is he used to use a plumb line. And he would um, sort of mark where the corner of the eye was and he'd, draw, and he'd use the plumb line and, and see what it would hit. So if I, if I draw, a, a, if I, let's say that's the corner of Clara's eye there, if I draw a line down, it's gonna hit the mouth there, but the corner of the mouth is here. So that's me worked out roughly where the corner of the mouth is. It was a very clever idea he had, but I tend not to do it. I try and just use my imagination for it instead. So don't try not to work in one place for too long. That's not a good thing to do. Maybe the eyes are a little bit angled as well. So one's slightly higher than the other. You don't want to work too long on the portrait on the actual drawing of it, because you, you're really trying to produce a painting, not, not a drawing. Just got a jumper on. So the eyes are the things you want to get right. Okay. The, the crucial element is the length of the nose. If you can get the length of the nose right, then you're almost there. Okay, so we're pretty much there now. There are inaccuracies in it, but I'm going to try and make the, the painting um, correct those. And there we, there we have it, pretty much okay. So that's the end of the first part of the portrait, which is the drawing phase. And it's, it's a crucial part of doing a portrait. Um, if, if you can't do this part, it makes the next part, which is the painting of it, just that little bit more difficult. So the drawing that I've done is, isn't necessarily um, a great drawing. I'm, I'm not interested in that. Um, it's, I'm not trying to show it as a drawing. What I'm interested in is showing it as uh, the, the, the underdrawing of a painting. So it is the accurate placement of the eye, of the nose, of the mouth, and the shape of the head. That's what I'm interested in. I'm not interested in whether it's a wonderful drawing or not. So what I'd like you to do if you like, is to have a little practice at this. So if you can find someone to draw, that's brilliant. And I, th I think that's always the best way to go. But if you can't, a photograph is absolutely fine. And try this, this drawing idea. Try and not be tight with it. Try and get those placement of the eyes and the mouth and the features of the face in accurately. And don't worry about how neat it is because it's not about that. This is just the forerunner of, of the real deal, which is the watercolour painting of it. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. And the next, the next part will be coming out next week, which is the actual painting of it. And uh, uh, show your friends, <laughs> show your mum, show your children this, and hopefully they can have a go as well, because it's a wonderful thing to do, portrait, portrait painting. It, they are the most personal and most special of all 
uh, watercolour techniques and um, they, they become family heirlooms in, in a way that a landscape or a seascape doesn't. These are treasured mementos of the family and will go down the generations. So I hope you enjoyed that and tune in next week for the next stage. And until then, thank you very much and bye-bye.